And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jinx Poros. That's right, we're bringing Poros to Constructed first time that I'm going to be playing Poros in Ranked. Um, I've only played Poros like one time in an expedition and it did not go well, <laughs> but we're going to try them over in Ranked. We got, um, as far as our Poro package, we got Daring Poro and Lonely Poro. Um, and then we have the Mighty Poro. Uh, then, of course, Poro Herder are payoffs for having all these Poros. <clears throat> Poro Herder, when you're summoned, draw two Poros if you have a Poro ally. And then we have Poro Snacks. Grant Poro allies everywhere, plus one, plus one. So, you, you know, you just get to anthem every Poro anywhere um, in your deck, in play, in your hand, all that kind of stuff. The reason why we're trying this out is because Poro Snacks was just um, upgraded. It used to cost four mana, now it costs three with the new patch. So, might as well give it a try. And see if that makes it um, good enough for constructed. Of course, these poros do cost one mana. A lot of them do, and you know, lonely poro gets you another one cost poro. So since they cost one mana, we also have omen hawk that costs one mana. Uh, we got these one drops. We're gonna try Professor Von Yip. So we summon the one drops. We get granted plus two, plus two. So we're gonna try this uh, to go alongside with it. But then, of course. Another thing about, you know, having a bunch of one drops is they're not super powerful, but you can play them very quickly from your hand so you can get rid of your hand. And so if we're emptying our hand really quickly, that's great for Jinx because you empty your hand, Jinx, le Jinx levels up, you start drawing two cards a turn instead of one. And so maybe even though your cards are less powerful, once you're getting two of them a turn, that can help out. And of course, we also have the Augmented Experimenter, which allows us to um, refill our hand also after we empty it so not sure if this deck's going to be any good um not really expecting it to be to be honest <laughs> but we have some cool stuff to do here and we got to try uh poro snacks in constructed you know we just got to give it a try so here we go jinx poros we're going to play So it's okay if we don't have the the best record here. Oh hey, look, we're seven, we're ranked seventieth, and we're playing Poros. Just playing a meme deck at ranked seventy. <laughs> yeah, there is a deck limit. You can only have thirty. Is it forty? I thought I think it's thirty decks. Maybe it's forty. But yeah, I I don't like it. I've I've hit that deck rank, uh, the deck limit a while ago. So I have to delete decks whenever I add new ones, and I'm sad about that. No, 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 not, not cards like decks in the collection. I think you can have thirty decks in your collection, not, not forty cards in a deck. Anyway, we got Jinx is good. We don't have another Poro for the Poro Herder. What are we playing against? Karma Ezreal. We'll just get rid of this. Get excited. Let's let's keep the Poro snacks. Yeah, I, I think it is. I think it's thirty. Um, I think it's 30 cards in a deck. I'm oh, sorry, 30, 30 decks in your collection. Eh. We got some mighty poros. I don't care about saving that thing with the Elixir of Iron. I'm going to keep Elixir of Iron for something else. Thanks. Thanks, Choklip. Thank you so much. That's a really uh, kind and... and you know, thought out message and um, I got the goods. Yeah, thank you very much. That's very nice, Joe Clip. 
Hope to still see see you around the channel. Some, you know, even even though you're gonna be playing a lot of magic and everything. Still see you around. Thank you. Oh, I probably should have saved that Mighty Poro with my Elixir of Iron. I kind of have it in my head to save Elixir of Iron to protect Jinx, but of course we we want to empty our hand to be able to flip Jinx. We have here. Don't you play the six mana card that fusions all the Poros? No. No, I don't have that card in here. Um, that, the heart of the fluff. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Yeah, there's there's a lot of constructed cards that that really punish that. Yeah, Will of Ionia, uh, just bouncing it. Like you said, purity. Um, it's kind of tough. And constructed. Um, <laughs> gosh, I really wish I had one more mana. This is this is unfortunate that I can't play both of these. I I really want to play a leveled up Jinx. I do not want their get excited to kill my Jinx. All right, so that made our decision pretty easy. We'll play this. We have the extra mana for the Poro Snack. Ugh. I can't play that and Jinx. Keep on drawing like something we just can't quite play. Where there is life, there is hope. Uh, like this? Oh, I see. My tent. I feel like it could be better to wait on this Poro Snacks to try to get a surprise extra a little bit of damage. Something like that. Take from the rich, give to me. Jinx? Stands for Jinx? Durr. Snacks. All right, well, Jinx took out four cards. I guess, so that's all three of their Get Excited. They discarded a Get Excited and discarded a Steel Tempest. So I really want to draw an Augmented Experimenter or another Jinx. Augmented Experimenter is our best draw. I thought you'd never ask. Watch and learn. Can't stop me. Oh yeah, Rekindler is definitely still good. Yeah, that's that's my plan right now, Joe Clip. But you know, we'll see that that may change. But that's Charge. my plan right now. Yeah, 
Yeah, they got me. That's really nice, giving Ezreal lifesteal, so it just gains you life. It's really nice. Alright, our Poros are 0-1. I can see us needing another one of those experimenters. Those augmented experimenters. Uh, I, I don't even know what my quest is for today. Play 10 elites? I'm not playing any elites. Oh, wait. The challengers have some elites. Eh, let's just reroll that. Play 15 PNZ units. Okay. We're doing a little bit of that here. Okay, so we got Professor Von Yip with a couple one drops. Um, I definitely like Thermogenic Beam, definitely like Omen Hawk. I'll just get rid of this Poro for now. Maybe I should be getting rid of the Von Yip. <laughs> yeah, I have. Yeah, it's not. It's yeah, it's really good. It's not hard to learn. I um, let's see. I will help you out with that. Here's me playing the tutorials. Yeah, you'll pick it up right away. Basically, all the creatures have all all creatures have haste and vigilance. Um the the turns are great though. It's just it's a sh all the t turns are shared. It's like it's this is just turn three. We both get to play creatures, which which is awesome, which makes it really, which makes it a much more fair game. Like they played a, they played that creature. Now I can play a creature. I'm gonna play this removal spell. It's just they have the attack token this turn, so they're they're the one attacking this turn. But there's cards that that allow you to gain an attack token though. Um, I guess, I guess it's going to be on them to act, right? Uh, so they get to attack before I get to Thermogenic Beam, which is rough. So I have to block. And now we'll Thermogenic Beam. But yeah, Choke Clip, the game's it's free to play. It's like this. Uh, oh, I has a very good reward system. It's gonna be on mobile the first half of this year also, which is which is a good thing, you know, like even if you like playing arena and stuff, but you know, you want a game for your phone. Um, you know, it's gonna be on mobile also. Yeah, I know, TJ, it took you months just to make mono blue. I know, right? Never play fair. We're going to be playing a Katarina deck later. I've never played a Kat Katarina deck before, so that's going to be a new one for us. So it's a one mana four four elusive. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good poro. Yeah, 
yep, they just change cards here. They don't ban them, and they're still very playable whenever they change them. They're still very playable. You know, like Rekindler and Hecarim were just changed, but they're still very playable. Still, they're still good. So voice line leaks show two new regions and 24 new champions. I'll just let that happen. I do have the elixir of iron, I could have saved it. I think I want to kind of protect this 4-4 elusive we have going on over here. Well, let's rummage these two away. Nice. So Jury Rig does count. I was wondering about that. I was wondering if Jury Rig was going to count. That's awesome. <laughs> it was going to count as a, a one drop for the Professor Von Yip. Yeah, that it that turned into a 3 3. Pew -pewing. That's right, opponent. Less thinking, more pew pewing. The stun's the weakest enemy, right? Yeah. Cool. Oh, wow, what a draw. Oh, but I kind of have to discard that so I can empty my hand for Jinx. Oh, the good cards. We're in such such a rough spot with having all these good cards. Hmm. I mean, I just have to empty my hand, right? Yeah, I guess I just have to empty my hand. Yeah, I think it's worth it too. Just get start getting two cards a turn now. I only have two poros in play right now, as far as poro snacks goes. That battering ram is pretty big. It is a pretty big battering ram. I don't want to let them block with that 1-1. I want to cast the Super Mega Death Rocket first. I know, right? Super Mega Death Rocket is pretty sweet. You 
cannot escape. Why'd I play the Super Mega Death Rocket before combat? Um... They had a 1-1 one, one creature that I didn't want them to be able to just jump block with. Yeah, they play another minion, but their other minion is something I'd rather ha have them block with. So I'm guessing they have Whirling Death because they use that pump spell. So yeah, they have the pump spell plus Whirling Death to kill Jinx. Which, that is definitely unfortunate for us. Master. Definitely possible I should have just sat back with Jinx and not attacked with Jinx. I mean, I guess, I mean, they had to have Whirling Death plus Pump Spell. But they did. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Even just pump spell, though, if they would have just blocked with the 412, if they just had the, the pump 3, they would have been able to block Jinx and kill Jinx. Where we're at, that that's a mistake to attack with Jinx. Yeah, it's it's probably better just to draw 2 and then rock it. Yeah. I, I agree. Underestimate. I dare you. Why would they bounce that one? That one just come, comes back as a 3-3. Three, three. I don't know, I guess there's not really anything to block, I guess. Or anything to bounce. Lesson learned, just don't don't attack with the jinx. Yeah, they wanted to buff the fade, but I was I was wondering why they bounced that one, but I guess there's not really any good targets to, to bounce. Yeah, the mighty poro would make me wait, use more mana, but it really doesn't matter. Alright, we just gotta do one extra point of damage. Should I have just attacked for four in the air first? We'll kind of see. Nah, they had stun. Oh, it was a slow stun, though. Hmm, maybe I should just attack for four in the air. <laughs> yeah, we got Poros in rank. We started rank 70th and we're playing Poros. I I think I p played this game poorly, though. Try I played this game poorly. Come on, draw a burn spell. Burn spell. No, not a burst spell. I mean, the attack, the attack didn't matter. I mean, we're gonna take a lot of overwhelm damage. I mean, even attack it with Jinx didn't really matter. All attacking, all attacking with Jinx would do is risk Jinx to 
you know, whirling death or whatever. Or like a mystic shot or anything like that. I don't know. They I don't they can't mystic shot, but you know what I mean. No, they they just had a twelve the the battering ram was twelve power with trample. I can't stay alive. Twelve overwhelmed damage. Ooh, what's that noise? Discard stuff. This is be just like discarding daring poros. Maybe I'll just discard my rummage. Maybe I was supposed to just discard the poro snacks and the daring poro. I don't know. Heart of the Fluff, yeah, Heart of the Fluff just isn't, isn't good, in, like, it's, it's really difficult to pull off in Constructed. There's a lot of very easy ways to answer it in Constructed. It's not reliable. Jubilant Poro. My favorite Poro. Nice having the backup jinx. So, you know, if something happens to this, we'll just play a new one. Yeah, Averroes and Hearthguard's an, an option. Um, that is a pretty good card. You don't want a whole lot of like really expensive cards with Jinx because you want to be able to get empty your hand and you know, Hearthguard and Hearthguard is you know a five drop. Oh. Are you leaving? All right. Now it's a 
party. Now it's a party. Yeah, I think I think we have to attack. I can't I can't empty my hand unless they kill this one one. Hoping they're gonna kill the one one. Cool. As you can tell, we needed that one that one drop dead so we could so we'd have enough room to play these poros. Super Mega Death Rocket. Wow, denied. Wow, denying our Super Mega Death Rocket. Ruination is in Shadow Isles, so we can't we can't fit Ruination in here. If you're talking about in our opponent's deck, I don't believe so. Yeah, I, I don't think they'll have Ruination. It's possible. We got them down to three. No, we don't. Our Super Mega Death Rocket has been denied yet again. Well, I'm blocking with Omen Hawk for sure. Probably the the. Hmm, well, I guess we're blocking with this also. I kind of wanted to just, I wanted to clear up some space to be able to play another creature. Come on, Poros. Get us a win in Constructed. You can do it. One more damage. I guess we shouldn't. I guess we shouldn't play into Ruination, probably. Poros, got a win. One and two, and and honestly, probably should be two and one. I played that second game pretty poorly. We got them down to, you know, what, like one life or whatever. Rewards, champion capsule. Yes, well. This is the only champion I have left. I needed two more, so now we have that. So I only need one copy of Yasuo as the only champion left for me. Uh, we can keep on going here and get to this diamond chest. Or my Shadow Isles, I'm only at level 8. Might as well just level up Shadow Isles now. So I guess we're going to find out soon what happens when, you know, when you have all the champions and then you get another champion. I don't know how close I am to finishing the full set with the cards. I think there's still a lot of rares and epics I don't have. But like comments and champions, I'm pretty good. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty close. I But rares rares in particular are the thing that uh, I have the least of. Elise Ash. 
We'll just keep this. I'll keep this. Get excited. Get excited. Can not kill Elise or Ash? Which seems like an important thing to do. Nice, going to Taylor Swift in May. Nice, yeah, hopefully it's not canceled. Come closer. I don't fight. Oh no 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 that thing's a three four. Three four is broken. That was a close one. So this is kind of the tough part. Do I actually cast the Poros or do I discard them? Especially this elusive one. This can be a three power elusive creature. That seems like that's probably pretty good. We could also just rummage, you know, obviously we rummage the jury rig, but then rummage that Poro away. I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Like, is our average draw worse than that? I don't know. I don't even remember the last live concert I went to. Oh, yeah, that was a dumb attack with Omen Hawk. Whatever. So they should have just drawn Ash here. There should be, you know, Ash arrowing. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure with my last. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I guess they can attack with Ash one time. Follow along, little ones. You gotta believe me! We should pause for thought. <laughs> Get some four fours. Ooh, four four challenger. Yeah, actually, yeah, I, I can't think of what the last concert I went to was. Honestly, not sure. Expecting them to have Frostbite card. They can't have Harsh Winds, so I don't have to worry about them getting a two for one because they don't have the mana for Harsh Winds. If it's Brittle Steel, that doesn't work because my creature is a four four. So can't have Harsh Winds, can't have Brittle Steel. I'm kind of guessing they do have Brittle Steel in hand for how they just did that, and then now they're thinking. Yeah. Yep. So, all right. So they, because the, their attack definitely signaled brittle steel, and then what they just did there signaled brittle steel. So, all right. So we know one of their seven cards is a brittle steel. 
We have deduced that. There's nothing to fear. Uh, there's fear itself. Seems like something to fear. Would you believe he won't fit in my hand? We must all make sacrifices. Jinx? Fancy Jinx? Star. This is the kind of deck that would play Ruination. So we do need to be worried about that. Hey, no more games. What's up? Thanks for the host. All right, we're going to do that. And I think I'll just do that and just see if they have any response. Okay. <laughs> Need to transform this jinx so we can start drawing two cards a turn. I don't really have the room for more Poros. Where did that one run off to? Man, and then Lonely Poros? Man, this just takes up so much room. Because the Lonely Poro gets you another card. I need five more creature slots here. Looks like we're not getting any Super Mega Death Rockets anytime soon. Clear up a little bit of room. First slot cleared up. We still get to draw two cards a turn, though. This would be a time that wouldn't be so bad to draw something that would let us discard some cards. Only cleared up two spots. Well, now 
we got three slots cleared up, but we're not going to be able to... Uh, not going to be able to draw two cards a turn anymore. My opponent's deck is definitely a deck that could be playing Ruination. Possibly should just hold on to hold on to these. We each died, then found home. Oh, it's probably not a ruination. Um. Always chasing after the Swiftly now. Cool. Are these transforming? They are transforming if they attack. Never mind, the transforming's not cool. Ooh. Ash is like, there's no backing down for me blocking this plucky Poro. <laughs> it's just a plucky Poro, but there's no backing down. My aim is true. So basically, next turn, I'm not going to be able to block at all. They, you know, play crystal, crystal arrow. I guess, and all the other enemies with three or less health. That may not, that's actually maybe not that many. Will no one listen? Like this? Oh, I see. I'll have this surprise 6-6. Six, six. All right, so do I play the 4-5? And then draw two Poros, or do I play the Surprise 6-6? Six, six? I think I play the Surprise 6-6. Six, six. That's, that's a lot of Ashes. I can only block one of them. So that's still game. Yeah. Or it's a 5-5, five, five, not a 6-6, six, six, but whatever. Alright, Ash Harrowing. Pretty good. It's a lot more powerful than just playing one one mana cards. A lot more powerful than playing one mana cards. That's alright, our deck's cooler. Okay, let's see. Replace those. And replace this. We'll just... Mulligan. Get him, Poros. 
for us so lonely. Oh, this art's just really funny. Uh, it's worse. I like it a lot better as this. Yeah, we're playing a Poro deck. Get him, Poros. Oh, they're supposed to block. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Basically playing the Omen Hawk as a chump blocker. <laughs> not the best chump blocker. I mean, well, it's not, not the best way to use it. Because, you know, like playing it with Professor Von Yip, it could turn it into a 3-3. start playing the Poro Snacks before they do damage. Why is Zed so broken? Oh, Zed's flipping anyway. I just shouldn't even block. Quite right, quite right. I shouldn't even blocked. I don't know. They got the prankster and everything. We're just really dead. Sure. On my mark. I can I can never level up this Jinx. I have too many cards. Lady Elise, 
where are you? Would you believe he won't fit in my hand? <laughs> What's that noise? Only taking lots of damage. Perhaps we should pause for thought. Hmm. And I am one mana short from. Leveling up that jinx. Hey Mike. So I guess my only chance at this is to get excited, kill the prankster. I think that's my only chance. Another prankster. No chance anymore. I, mean, I guess we'll draw our card, but. Zed's too strong when you're just playing one mana one ones. Yeah, this next, it's not that bad. I mean, sure, I'm one in four. One of the games I could have won that that I that I played. Uh, oh, I didn't. I didn't get anything. One match was on me. It really should be two and three. Update. But it's not like our deck's not that bad. It's it's close. It's it's very close. Like we're playing a lot of close games. And you know, like we are in master you know, we are playing against, you know, the best decks in Masters Rank. And we're playing lot you know, like all of our games are really close, so it's All right. See you, Choke Clip. Come back, say hi later. Um. I think our decks felt pretty good as far as like you know what my expectation. You know, I didn't ha really have any expectations for it. Okay, let's see. So Shen Fiora. I think we'll just send those back. No, not not really, Mike. I don't think I'm gonna be playing Call of Duty. Feed um.
This is gonna get out of hand. So I guess I'm just gonna, like, while I have the two mana here, we'll just play that, even though that's not really the best for me. I probably shouldn't even play this Daring Porto, should I? Maybe should have just waited until after Professor Von Yip. I don't know. Could have banked that mana. I could have been able to kill the War Chefs, which which I would have rather done. By my honor, you must die. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Head to the base. Try me. No one goes hungry. They're they're absolutely gonna have a barrier, right? You know, if I tried if I tried Mystic Shot the Fiora, that's not gonna work. Seeing our first time finding augmented experimenter. We drew both of them. This is not a card you want to draw two of because you have to discard the other one whenever you play one. So one of these is just a dead card. Sorry, Yellow Snappers. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I just missed your, your question there. But yeah, how hard is it to unlock cards compared to MTG? Um, it's very, very easy. It's so much easier compared to Magic. Like, Magic, you can't really... It's it's really difficult to be free to play player on Magic. You can't really do that in this game. It's very easy to be a free to play player. You don't have to. Um, you honestly don't have to invest anything. You know, just uh, right. and you know other right. people in chat can can attest to this that that you can just um, you know put in put in some time, but uh, you can b get the whole collection not too difficultly i i basically i have all the cards now i've played you know been playing for like uh five weeks and i have basically every single card um but i also i did put in some money because i wanted the cards faster i feel like i could ha could have had everything in like another basically two weeks if i didn't put in money Um, but yeah, you can, you can definitely build, uh, decks, uh, very easily. There's, and there's, there's a lot of different, um, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You def yeah. You'd be able to unlock a whole region in five weeks without putting in money. Yeah. I mean, you'd be able to unlock like, I don't know, probably between, probably like a rat, like between 60 to 80% of the in of everything in five weeks without putting in money i'd say probably around 80 percent it, it depends on how much you play because there there's no ex like experience is not capped per day you can you can keep playing and you know every win gets you 100 experience and stuff like that so like it's not it's not capped but the re rewards are really good and yeah you get the rewards by region um Fit in my hand. <laughs> I guess I need to play Professor Von Yip because right now, so my goal right now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to empty my hand. This wants my hand empty. This empties my hand. I guess I should just play Jinx and then just play this and just discard my hands. Honestly, that may be like the best long term play. So it's two damage will destroy the barrier and then and then the damage will happen. They can't put like another barrier on Fiora. They could have that card. That's not a card you see played hardly ever. I guess they got that card. I 
All right, so playing Jinx turns the other Jinx into a Get Excited, which is a good removal spell for Fiora. But yeah, so yellow snappers, you'd probably be able to unlo unlock a whole region in like three minutes or so. Or sorry, in like three weeks. That'd be. I'm just, you know, spitballing. But maybe like three weeks instead of uh, five weeks. Okay, really, Mike? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll have to talk with you about it later. Um, right, this Jinx transforms. We're just going to be dying to this Fiora, aren't we? Like this? Oh, I see. I should have attacked with my Jinx the previous turn. Discipline and steel. Jinx stands for Jinx. Durr. And right now, Yellow Snappers, there's just the one set, you know, with this game. So, like right now, is a is a great time to. Uh, start playing and building your collection because there is just the one set so you you know you're not going in to like a you know like where you're trying to get like five sets worth of cards and makes it a lot harder just have the one the one set to to really work on right now It's even worse than a barrier. I think I need to just try to play Jinx and try to play this Augmented Experimenter a lot earlier and just even though I was just discarding my whole hand, I think that was just something I needed to do a whole lot earlier. You know, how this game is played out. Well, that was good. How easy 
on the hands. They're new. Stay away from that switch. All right, so we're one and five. So there's anything to change about the deck. Did kind of like that experimenter. Our, our deck's pretty close. You know, it's not quite there, but I, I feel like maybe I'm not... It's possible I'm not playing it correctly. At least, you know, a couple of these games. Like, like maybe I really need to focus on emptying the hand with Jinx more. Yeah, I just run out of gas because I think that I need to try to flip Jinx earlier. I have a bunch of cards that aren't very good. Like try to get Jinx down on turn four, maybe maybe transform at turn five. Kind of thing. Playing Lux Heimerdinger. So like you know, like basically they're a, they're a slower deck, so I'm getting this one drop in to get some damage in, but you know, maybe it's something I'm supposed to just hold for get excited. I'm expecting a six mana spell this turn, and so then I'm going to thermogenic beam it. Which is why I didn't play the Mighty Poro first. After wizard, welcome, welcome. Only do two damage to Heimerdinger. Seven. 
Our Redeemer's gonna dominate. <laughs> yeah, do you have a, do you have a good job for this quarantine? Um, Remembrance just gets you a random five mana follower from Demacia, and so there are three of them. So there's three options of what it could get you. we should pause for thought. Yeah, by playing Lux, we do get to kill Heimerdinger. For justice and all things bright. Yeah, I guess I'm... All right, now we're gonna try to kill Lux as well. Ugh, Mighty Poor was not a good one to draw. Darn. Need to empty my hand. Now the problem with drawing these Poro cards right now is they do not let you empty your hand very fast at all. So we need to empty our hand. Hey, Elvis. A beacon in battle. I could go the route. Basically, I could have, could have gone the route of just. Um, Yeah, 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 we get it. I'm dead. I could go the route of, of emptying my hand faster, in which case... Um, yeah, we wouldn't get like the extra Poros. Could have played the Poro Herder first before this. Oh, where did that one run off to? No, I mean, that's the one to my hand. Yeah, that's true. I, I did empty that way. <laughs> They're not even killing the right thing. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm, I can't win, but... They're... Definitely not killing the right thing. So I can play a bunch of 3-3s three and lose, or I can rummage them away and almost certainly lose. I guess we're going to rummage them away. Oh, I could have played the the one of yeah, I could have played one of them and gotten the free one and then rummage. That's true. Jinx is the best card in our deck. It's, it's basically the only way we win games. 
It lets us draw two cards a turn. And make Super Mega Death Rockets to kill the opponent. Really, without Jinx, we can't win. But with Jinx, we can win at some sometimes. Yeah, I guess we could play and treat then. That could be a card to play. To help find Jinx. Alright, so we tried we tried Poros in constructed. Did not Did not work too well, even with the reduction of cost of Poro Poro snacks from four to three. Um You know, the every everything everybody else is doing is just so much more powerful than what we're doing. The Jinx was really good, but, it, you know, like all, all the Poro stuff, just not strong enough compared to all the great stuff that other people are doing. But there we go. Got to try Poro's in Constructed once, right? Got to try it, but not, not strong enough. I don't think that's any surprise to anyone. Fun to play. All right, there's Jinx Poro's. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave a comment. I would appreciate both of those. Um, if you know, if you're trying any Poro kind of stuff in Constructed, let me know. But that's it here for Jinx Poro's. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.